Welcome back, YouTube, to another episode of our Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we made it here to this garden. I forget the name of it, but we're at the next um, island. Uh, Haku, Haku, ha, ha, something, 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 Lani Island, right? That's where we're at. But we also made it to this garden to meet up with the professor. And the professor's like, all right, yeah, just meet me on Route 10. We'll take a bus there. You start your trial. Blah, 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 blah. We caught an Araquanid in the last episode as well, but it doesn't matter because we got Subaki here. She's level 24 with Recover, Psychic, Swift, and Scald. Then we have Raspusha, the big bad mama with Norbit in her pouch. She's rocking Fake Out, Brick Break, Bite, and Double Hit. She's level 24. Then we have Fruit Loops, who is level 30 with Beak Blast, Swords Dance, Roost, and Brick Break. And then we have our girl Faith, who evolved in the last episode, I believe. She is level 31 with Stomp, Rock Tomb, Double Kick, and High Horse Power. Our starter Batista is here. He's level 32 with Bite, Fire Fang, Leech Life, and Shadow Claw. And last but not least, we have that girl. That's my type. That's my type, sweetie. I don't know why I paused right there because I couldn't. I was like looking at her moves and I was like, why does she have U turn? But I forgot. We taught her that. So she now has Stomp, Low Sweep, U turn, and Trop Kick. So she's doing good. She's also our ace at this moment, despite Batista being our starter. She is our highest level though because she gets experience at a higher rate than anybody else on the team because she actually was a traded Pokemon. So, oh, Male City. That's where we're at. So let's go here and heal up because I don't want to get caught lacking anymore. We already got caught lacking against how and how you might ask. Yes, I, I don't understand how either, but he caught us lacking with his psychic type Raichu, a Lolan Raichu. And it was something it was, it, it was something indeed. Dora, would you mind if I asked you something? You want to go to the ruins? Yes, I want to take Nebi to visit Ula Ula's ruins, but they're located deep in a large desert. I don't want to ask that or that much of you. Right now, I'm planning on visiting Miley Library. There's a book that I want to look up there. Maybe you'd be willing to help me? I know that Miley Library is here within the city of Miley somewhere. Even I should be able to find it. I can do this. I hope you can, girl. We keep finding all these Zyger cubes. Professor! Oh. <laughs> Why, hello there, oh Tom. Are you feeling nice and comfy there in that Pokedex of yours? Never better. Zzz. Oh, well, hello there. Good to meet you. I'm Oak. Samson Oak. I'm a professor researcher and I'm looking into the regional variants across or found around here. And you must be Dora, hmm? Young Kakui mentioned you to me. Rotom, you be sure to help this fine young girl on her trip around the islands, alright? Who do you think you're talking to? Zzz, of course I'm doing that. And you, Dora, I'll be trusting you to keep Rotom safe as well. The young fellow from Kalos who helped invent that Pokedex put a lot of work into it. And as much love and care as any parent, I'll be in the Miley Library if you ever need me. Feel free to stop by and chat anytime. If you're having trouble finding the library, just find the Black Brick Road meaning the patterns on these paths, of course. Black circle, black triangle, black square. Follow that pattern, and I'll get, and it'll get you there. <laughs> He's the cool oak. Okay. Ah, oh, poor Hashirama, he didn't have to die. My Lasada shop in there. I am good, bruh. What is this? I'm here to eat. Each item costs 4,000. 
what? I don't want none of this. You got something I can, uh... You know. Something I can use? Trade my Hapini for your Pancham? I don't have a Pancham, though. That's one trade I cannot do. And even if I could, I don't know if I would. <laughs> like, that's facts. I don't know if I would trade a Pancham for a Hapini. I guess we can't go over there. I guess we can't go over there. Like, who do these people, like, think they are? You telling me where I or can and can't go? Oh, this is a, uh, that's uh, a hair salon. We don't need to go there. Clothes, we're good on clothes. This outfit should last us a good while. I don't even think we have enough money to buy any clothes anyways, because we spent most of our money in the, uh, on the TMs. Dora, I'm sorry. I ended up getting lost yet again. I wandered around completely lost until I ducked into the apparel shop. And then I saw this outfit, and they said it was the last one they had in stock, so I bought it. Even though I don't think I'd ever have the guts to wear an outfit like that. But the woman working at the store did tell me where to find the library. So I guess I could say it was all for the best. Though, the library was actually right past the apparel store. If I'd just keep going... What the... Dora, been a while, my friend. Looks like your island challenge is coming along favorably. That must be a pleasure to the Tapu. So, Dora, who might this be? Oh, hello, my name is Lily. My apologies if, Mus if Mudsdale sp uh, spooked you just now. Uh, doesn't seem like you were a trial goer. What are you up to? Oh, I'm actually um, studying the Tapu's ruins for uh, various reasons of my own. Well, that's some fine initiative. I'd be happy to show you, uh, why don't, what am I doing? I'd be happy to show you the way wherever you'd like to go. My Mudsdale here is as sturdy as, uh, as all get out. She can easily carry two. I don't know why I never thought about giving her a country accent. Thank you for the offer. My Mudsdale is stronger. And she's also a girl. So now what? Shall we check out Miley Library first though? Since we're here? Sure, I guess. The book I'm looking for is a very old one. It's a book that contains old myths and legends of that Professor Burnett told me about. Those tales seem to suggest that Alola's legendary Pokemon came from another world. Yeah, it's uh, the Pokemon in your bag. <laughs> Spoiler alert. For those that don't know. Like, even I knew that. Oh, we got Fly? Hmm. That might be interesting. Alola, young Dora, since you're out and about exploring on your island challenge, you must already know about regional variants, don't you? Just as I would have expected, yes, regional variants. They arise from the influences of a particular region, because of Pokemon's physical aspect and even type or cause them to change. If you have caught one of the local, uh, Pers Persians, yeah, Persians, the regional variant, I would quite like to see it. I have not caught a Persian yet. But if I did, I'll let you know. It must be a very valuable book, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to take it out of the library. Ooh. 
Is that what you're looking for, Princess? <laughs> Give it a read. Oh, of course. I have no idea what that voice was. Well, it's titled The Light of Alola. It's just, um, read it aloud, shall I? Whatever she said. The empty sky broke asunder, a hole appearing where had been none. A single beast appeared from, from in it. It was called the beast that devours the sun. The king of Alola bowed before it, the beast that shone so like the sun. The island guardians fought against it, but in the end, the beast had won. Then did the beast that devoured the sun shine its light on the line of kings. Then did the beast that had won bring nature's gift to bless all things. Beast of sun and beast of moon. Through their union, they brought new life. A fra fragile hair to Alola born. The island guardians would keep from strife. The ancient kings sang their thanks for Sogaleo with song of flute. Two tones rang across the altar, a perfect pair even after mute. Hmm. hmm. Isn't it great? My dad's books are all great. What? I mean, yes, it is, but when you say your father, isn't this book very old? Yeah, belong to my dad. I know I don't look it, but my family used to be pretty much loyalty. I had to have all my dad's books moved here so they didn't get ruined by the Pokemon. I can tell you lots of other stories about Alola too. You interested? Well, that would be wonderful. I would be delighted if you did. I think I'll stay here, but I know why you've come to Ula Ula. You're going to be undergoing your trial, won't you, Dora? Good luck with it. I read that Ula Ula Island's electric type trial can only be reached by bus on Route 10. Electric? Sheesh. Alright. You got anything for me? Nah, you don't got nothing for me. You got something for me? You ain't got nothing for me. You got something for me? You ain't got nothing for me. Alright, nobody got anything for me. Shoot, electric type though? Okay, that means we can't use Tsubaki. We can't use Fruit Loops. Everybody else is fair game though. And I think they could handle their own pretty well. Route 10 is this way, right? Outer Cape? Well, Outer Cape seems like a encounter to me. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Rubbish. Finally, something I can hit with super effective damage. That's pretty cool how they gave the janitor a trubbish. Defense and special defense rolls. Let's go for psychic again. I'm another trubbish. I'm gonna keep battling. Subaki, I need you to do more damage, girl. I'm not gonna lie. Like, in no world should that be a two-hit. That should just automatically one-shot that Pokemon. No cap. But we got an antidote. Hmm. Alright, I'd say we're about done here, yeah? Let's call it a day and get home. Hey, what are you doing out here, kid? This is a restricted area. We're working here. Seriously, boy? Aren't you a Mali na native? We're famous for our hospitality. <laughs> and kids need to explore to see the world. How else are they going to learn? I swear. Y yes, father. I mean, sir. Yes, sir. If that's what you really want, then 
then I will let you, I will tell this random trespasser about what it is we do here. This is where we take care of all the garbage produced in the Alola region, young lady. We janitors work together with our Pokemon towards this goal, in fact. The garbage that we human workers gather is consumed by muck and grimer, like this one here. Our president here beside, beside me has a muck that can eat 10 tons of rubbish in a single day. Though, me and Grimer here are still just temporary contract workers. But isn't there an island challenge amulet you have there? I took the trials myself, or when I was a kid. Though, it, it was a bit too much for me, and so I actually ended up giving up right away. Look here, kid. Seems to me that my mug had a bit, had a bit too much to eat today. How about you join me in a battle and prove with a bit of exercise to aid the old digestion? Sure. Good. You got that chut sap, my friend. Then let's get this thing happening. Okay. Well, the problem is this thing is a goddamn dark type, too, I believe. It's poison dark, right? Oh, gosh. I'm pretty sure this thing is poison dark. And... I honestly don't want anything to do with this thing, so I'm gonna go out to Faith here. And bulldoze this thing, not bulldoze. High horsepower. Minimize. Oh gosh. Here we go with the bull. Here we go. Thank you, Quick Claw. Thank you. Get this thing out of my sight. Rasputian's level 25. What's on our Mega Punch? Yeah, get rid of double hit. <laughs> there we go, Janita. <laughs> Not too shabby. Just like I'd figure, you got something in you, kid. Amazing, you even beat my I mean, my boss's muck. What are you doing standing up, standing there like a lump? You're up next, you useless dullard. Wh what Me? Me and Grimer? There's no way we could win against this kid. You see, it's just like you did in your trials when you were a kid. The moment something starts to look tough, you want to give a cry out and run off. You give up, and you're supposed to be my son. How can I leave this plan to you if you never learned the value of a bit of hard work? I can't ever leave things in your hands if you don't give me a reason to trust you to handle it. F father Fine, we'll do it. I will not run away anymore. I will give this everything I've got. Alright, fine, I'll take you on. Fine, I'll take you on, I guess. Ace trainer? You can't be too much of an ace trainer if you quit immediately. What is this Pokemon though? It's gotta be like Poison Dark, right? If it's Poison Dark, there's really nothing I can do to touch it. So I'm just gonna go back to Old Reliable. Old, old, old Faithful. Old Faithful, uh, what's it called? Faith here. I ain't doing nothing to me. All that's gonna do is raise my stamina. There we go. Man, both of y'all get one shot. Sweetie's level 34. Blast it all. You. I'm, I'm sorry, father. I really am. Just a weakling. You're hired. F father. I'm not your father, I'm your boss, and I'm saying that you're hired, boy. From this day forth, I'm making you the head of the plant, and I won't hear another word of a word of complaint about it from you. You saw that this trainer was stronger than you or me, and still you and Grammar went up against her with everything you had in you. That's what I always wanted to see from you, that kind of persistence and drive. And that's why you and Grimer, that's why you're gonna take over for me. Thank you, sir, father, I mean, uh, former president, sir. Sorry for using you to teach my boy a lesson, but when I saw that Iron Challenge amulet you had there, it just hit me, you know? 
Take this for your troubles. It may be twisted, but it's not garbage. Oh, a twisted spoon. Now that I've got my successor sorted out, I can finally retire for a life of peace. I think I can trust my boy's crew to clean up everything on Alola. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, so we did all that for a twisted spoon. That's not bad. I will say. What? Elegant style? What the heck? Who is this man? Oh, these are the, the two... Uh, oh, yeah, you want the Alolan Grimer? Oh, it gave me a friend ball? I guess we can try and uh, get our encounter here. I hope we get a muck. Ah, would you look at that? You ask and you shall receive. You ask and you shall receive. It's a female mug too. Okay, well, I'm gonna switch out. Into Fruit Loops. Ask and you shall receive. I think we can just brick break here. Nobody appeared? Good. I think a regular Pokeball should suffice, right? Oh, dude, just stay in the ball, man. Oh. Hopefully they stay in now. gosh disable we're not going for any move though we're not going for any move though shorty uh a great ball what would you nickname a female muck though i don't know i actually don't know what would i name a female muck I've got to kind of think about that. Okay, we got the Alolan Grimer. Which I think I... Yeah, it is Poison Dark. A Grimer has been caught or brought in to solve a problem with garbage. Developed over time into this form. I think I will add this thing to the team. But what do I name it? Guys, I am so sorry. I didn't even realize my recording was paused. But you probably only missed like five minutes. And I'll go over everything that just happened. I'll go over everything that just happened. So we caught... The last thing you probably saw was that we caught the... Uh, what's it called? We caught the Grimer. Right? I named it Basura. We came down here to Route 11. 
We got healed up by this lady. I got a first encounter of a gumshoes right here in this patch of grass. That didn't matter because we already had one. I double battled these fools. We survived. There was a TM right here. It was a TM for gyro ball. And then I got my encounter right here in this patch of grass. And it was a pancham. A pancham that used circle throw. And so it ended the battle after circle throw because basically circle throw is like roar. It will switch out the Pokemon. And so if a wild Pokemon uses it, it ends the battle right there. So we can't get a battle here. Or we can't get an encounter here. I say all of that just to say that we cannot get an encounter here anymore. Because we, we screwed up. Well, we didn't screw up. The Pancham used Circle Throw. There was nothing I could do. There was literally nothing I could do in that situation. But, like I was saying, I don't think I would have used the Pancham anyways. Oh. It's a good thing Subaki is pretty fast. You see, there's the gum shoes that I was telling you about. It's a good thing Subaki is fast and can just leave at any time she wants. So, Alright, we got a big mushroom. That's gonna be big money at the store. <laughs> he sat up and that sound effect started. But yeah, that's my back. I thought I pressed play, man. I really thought I did. I don't know what the heck happened. Hariyama? Um, this is... I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of scary. Hariyama is not... Hariyama is not something to be played with. Special defense drop? Yeah, whirlwind? Okay. That's fine with me. What are you gonna send out? Bounce? Or sweetie? I'm gonna U turn out of here. And I'm going right back. Who has our highest defense? That really isn't even a question. Actually, Sweetie has the highest defense. What the heck? Maybe that was a valid question. Let's go into Fruit Loops, though. Vital Throw? Yo, why did that do so much? Uh... Okay, I'm going back into Sweetie. If you're gonna vital throw me again... Like, what the heck, bro? She took that way better that time. Trop kick. There we go. Good amount of experience right there. Good amount. Oh, we don't have enough Z crystals, so we can't come out here. Alright, well, that's fine. We're out. We're, we'll make our way back to where we belong, or where we need to go, and hopefully can get an actual encounter that doesn't run away. This game might have had the most failed encounters in all of our Nuzlocke's, and we've done three now. This is our third one. But I don't think we've had a, a Nuzlocke with so many failed encounters like this one. It's not even really my fault. Route 10, we can definitely get an encounter here. Okay. So, find your stuffle, and there's eight of them. Well, this is our first encounter. Ah, uh, oh, no, it's not. We have a Spiro, so we don't need to catch this. Great. We live to see another Pokemon. 
because Lord knows I do not want this. Paralyzed seal, okay. Alright, oh, there's a stubble right here. So now we need seven more. Let's fight this guy, though. Let's fight this guy and see what's good. Firefighter Alex. Polyworld, huh? Okay, okay. Is this thing just a water type or is it water fighting? I don't know, but I don't think there should be anything he can do to me. Nah, uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything I can do to him. Body slam, dude, just... Tsubaki, this... You should be one-shotting. Bubble beam, we're eating that up. Alright, we ate that up pretty well. Uh, we could just scald here. I was gonna say, are you kidding me, Subaki? That wasn't enough? Level 27. Level 27, our special attack is now 43. <laughs> that is so little, but please do not be anything. Please do not be anything. Oh, that's a Skarmory. I'm not mad at that, I'm just... I'm not mad at that. I'm just a little... A little disappointed. I guess we'll go out in the Fruit Loops here. I'm pretty sure we do not have a Skarmory, so... Called for help though. No help came. I'm gonna brick break here. We'll brick break one more time. Well, I did say I want a steel type, didn't I? I saw I wanted a steel, a poison, a fairy, or a fighting type. And we got it. So I can't complain about that. Wow, another Skarm reappeared. So now we have to take care of that thing before we can take care or catch this, uh, the female one. That was our first encounter. Hopefully we can catch this dang Pokemon, because we haven't been able to catch anything for a minute. Oh my gosh. Alright, what if I beat Blast the Skarmory? Is he gonna get burned? Yes, sir. Wait, actually? This might be bad. Are you gonna get burned? Nah. Okay. Well, we can't beat Blast again, so... Gotta be careful about what we do. Oh, maybe we can beat Blast again. Bruh. This is getting annoying. I'm a big blast, cause you're gonna start. Yeah, now you're burned. That's only doing one damage. <laughs> that did a considerable amount. 
switching out, though. I'm just tired of this, man. I want to just catch this Pokemon and be done with it. Just be done with it. Why do I have to go through all of this? We can Fire Fang this Skarmory. He's out of there. Fury swipes? Absolutely not. Why would you want that? Rulups is level 32, Rasputia level 27, Sweetie level 35. Alright, this Pokemon has a really high um, catch rate, so I'm gonna Ultra Ball here. One. Wow. Okay. I don't think I have anything to, uh... Oh my gosh, please, bro. Please stop. Thank you. No help. I'm a leech life, though. This should do nothing. I just need to whittle it down to red health. Maybe a bite will do it. Oh, okay, and we flinched. Perfect. Another Ultra Ball. You're on like one health, bro. One health. One, two, three. There we go. We caught her. There we go. That's how you do that. That's how you catch a Pokemon, man. That is how you catch a Pokemon. I don't know why it was so hard to catch some of the other Pokemon. We have lost, like, we lost so many encounters in this game. That is crazy. And you already know what I'm about to name her. Joan of Arc. <laughs> Wow. Only Joan of Arc uh, fits? I thought Joan of Arc the second would fit. Remember we had Joan of Arc the second? And this is actually a really good nature. Uh, not really. Calm nature. It's alright. It's alright. But, time to heal up. Uh, where is my super potions? Oh, not the rage candle bar. Just a super potion. There we go. Good to go. Good to go. I would like another special attacker, though. Now, nah, I'm going to be mad because you can get a Pokemon here. And this is actually a Pokemon that we could have used, but it's not a special attacker. Yeah, Crab, Crab Brawler. We could have used this Pokemon. It's a fighting type. But it ain't the best fighting type. It's actually really slow. And its evolution is not that great either. Dizzy Punch. Called for help. Boy, if you don't get... Wow, there's two female crab brawler. They're known as the boxing Pokemon too, apparently. And I'm only doing this for, uh, actually, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. You want to power up punch? Hey, I don't want no quarrel with that. Oh, she was going to heal me up anyways. Dang it. All right, we got a stubble here. Or stuffle. You want to battle? Let's battle then, ma'am. Looks like there's another Stuffle up there, too. I'm a little disappointed that our encounter was, uh, 
you know. What was that? A, uh, Skarmory? But... It is what it is, you know? I'm not too entirely mad about it, but... I'm not jumping for joy over here. I, I just want something that I can replace, uh, Respucia with. Like, um, a fighting type? I don't know what fighting type is left out there. Or... I'll take a fairy type, like I said. I'll take a different steel type. One that doesn't have a flying type with it, because we already have a flying type. So, at that point, it's like, can you blame me? There's another stuffle right here behind the sign. And there's a Zyger cube. And I'm... You're not trying to battle me? Interesting. There's a Stuffle here. And a Stuffle there. I need Subaki to get to level 36 as fast as possible so I can evolve her. Growlithe. Alright, you got Intimidate. That's fine with me. Because I'm not gonna hit you with a physical move, buddy. I'm just not. Scald is not gonna kill. We're gonna have to do it two times. Yep, I knew it. Fire Fang ain't gonna do that. Of course. Of course it burns me. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it burn me? You know, this wouldn't be a Pokemon. This wouldn't be a Nuzlocke if it didn't burn me. Level 28, that's good. Wants to learn Brine, absolutely not. We already have Scald, and Scald has a chance to burn. That helps make me a little bulkier. At this point, I don't know how many stuff we have found. Uh, oh gosh, we ran into a Pokemon. Another Gumshoes though. I think Subaki learns Meteor Beam at level 36, and she cannot learn that at, by level up as a Starmie unless we get a TM for it. So that's why I'm like waiting to evolve her. Because if I can do that, and then I just evolve her, and then we just run Meteor Beam, uh, hopefully Ice Beam if we ever get that, but Meteor Beam, Psychic, um, and Scald, we'll be set. Like, we will be good to go. Let's see if we found all eight yet. Because I really don't know. Oh, it looks like we did. And we got a Never Melt Ice. That will help boost, uh, and 15k. Alright, Never Melt Ice helps boost, um, ice type moves. Which we don't have any of, but, uh, you know, if a Alolan Vulpix ever wants to show its face, I will be more than happy to add them to the team. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. What? You never seen somebody take a bus stop to go before? Hey, yo! You trying to steal our bus stop? Let's go find your way, you heard? And we're only fighting one of them? Oh my gosh, him and that little... Golbat, huh? Let me introduce you to a move called Psychic. <laughs> Let 
Let me introduce you to a little move called Psychic, my lord. I feel like Psychic type Pokemon, or, or I'm not even a Psychic type Pokemon, but I feel like Psychic type Pokemon should not be able to be confused. You have a 500 IQ, man. Like, what are you getting confused about? The only thing I'm confused about is why that didn't kill. Why didn't that kill? I'm gonna just swift here. Good job, Subaki. Team Skull Grunt has been defeated. Dang, I lost? Then my homie's gonna fight you. That's just like, that's just life in Team Skull. We stand up to even the strong, yo. We stand up, but not for long, yo. Alright. <laughs> mm. Here they go with that little pose. What do you got, a Salazzle? Oh, Eradicate? Yeah, I gotta get up out of here. <laughs> I gotta get up out of here. I can switch into uh, Fruit Loops here, though. Hyper Fan? I'll tell you what, do that again. Ah, Beak Blast. Do it again. Congratulations, you're burned. <laughs> Congratulations, you just burned yourself. You just played yourself. Dang, Subaki still didn't level up. And fun fact, you cannot get a lucky egg in this game until you beat it, so... Yo, think about the bus drivers. If we take this bus stop, they can all chill. Oh, I'm over this. Back to living large at the mansion. <laughs> the mansion? Y'all got a mansion? Dora! What's going on? Some Team Skull Punks just ran past me going in, in the other direction, yeah? I sure wish they challenged the Gym League instead of getting up to no good all the time. Ho <laughs> ho, you'll find out soon enough. You just wait, cousin. But first things first, if you want to head up to Mount Hakulani, we should take the bus. I'll blast us, or it'll blast us up there to the top, yeah, as quick as a sky uppercut. Okay, well, I guess we have no choice but to take it. You are welcome aboard the Executor Express. Our safe driving record will absolutely slay you. Come on, come on, climb in. Mount Hakulani. Over here. Mount Hakulani is the second tallest mountain in Alola, and the tallest... Whoa. Check it out, Dora. You see that steep, jutting, majestic peak right over there? That's where you can get an Alolan Vulpix. <laughs> That's Mount Lanakila, the highest peak in Alola. It's a sacred spot, yeah? The closest you can ever get to the legendary Pokemon of Alola is said to be the Sun Incarnate. That's it, right there, on the peak of Lanakala. Or Lanakila. That's where I'll establish our Pokemon League. We'll get everybody who's finished their island challenges, yeah? And up there on the peak of Mount Lanakila, they'll battle against the Kahunas to become the Island Challenge Champion. I've always valued our old traditions here in Alola, but it's time to make a champion the whole world will recognize. It's time we get our own Elite Four and make our own Pokemon League. To think that someday the kiddos in Alola will all be able to go from being the Island Challenge Champion to the World Champion. 
and then when we have our champion, they can show the rest of the world what's so special about Alolan Pokemon and their trainers, yeah. That sounds cool. Sounds like a plan. But it sounds like it's gonna be the end of today's episode. For today's comment question of the day, have you ever gone mountain hiking? Or is that something you ever plan on doing? For me, personally, it is something that I want to experience, something that I might do in the future because I did get a dog. She is not here yet. She will be here in a couple of episodes, uh, hopefully, you know. I don't think I'll beat this game before she gets here, but I'll be sure to show you guys in an episode. I might even record an episode of her, not an episode, but like a video of her. And yeah, so that's one thing I want to do, go hiking with her and my grandmother just to, you know, get some exercise and stuff like that. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Make sure you support the boy by hitting the bell icon. You don't want to miss an episode, people. Because even I don't know what's going to happen next. So, stay tuned. I'm out. Peace!